find the position of node in actual diagram for the rotor C where the mass moment of inertia of rotor A 30 kg meter square for rotor B 90 kg meter square for rotor C 50 kg meter square take G is equal to 84 into 10 raised to 9 Newton per meter square Let us understand given diagram. There are three rotors A, B and C. There are two sections of the shaft. So first section is in between rotor A and B and second section is in between B and C. For the first section length L1 is 2 meter and diameter D1 0.045 meter. And for the second section length L2 4 meter diameter D2 0.044 meter. Now for this diagram, this is the actual diagram, we have to show the equivalent system. So equivalent system should be of uniform diameter and we have to assume any value. So we will show here D equivalent is equal to 0 0.045 meter. So this is the equivalent di diameter and that is our assumption. Now for this uniform diameter, we have to calculate the equivalent length. So I will show here L equivalent that we have to find out. But there are two sections of the shaft. So we will say here the, for the first section we have to calculate le equivalent length that is L equivalent 1. And for the second section we have to calculate L equivalent 2. So how to calculate this L EQ1 and L EQ2. So here is the formula. So LQ1 is equal to L1 into d equivalent by d1 raised to 4 so d equivalent is 0 0.045 divided by 0 0.045 which is equal to so it is getting cancelled so 1 raised to 4 is equal to 1 so we will say that lq1 is equal to 2 meters which is equal to l1 so we will mention here instead of lq1 we will write here l1 now we will move to the next we will calculate l equivalent 2 so what is the formula Again L2 multiplied by D equivalent by D2 raised to 4. So here L2 is 4 multiplied by 0 0.045 by 0 0.04 raised to 4. So when we calculate we will get 6.4072 which is equal to now it is not equal to L2. So we will write here as a L2 dash. So we will write here as a L2 dash. So while calculation instead of L2 we will refer here as a L2 dash. Now what is this total equivalent length? So we have to add this L equivalent 1 plus L equivalent 2 that is equal to 8.4072. So this is the equivalent length. Now we will calculate the position of node point. Now suppose we will consider the node point is here, then how to calculate this distance? So distance from this rotor A is known as LA. So this distance from the rotor A is known as LA. And suppose node point is in between B and C, then the distance from this rotor C is known as LC. Now we will find out the relation in between LA and LC. So how to find out this relation? So we have one condition that is IALA is equal to ICLC. Where IA and IC is the mass moment of inertia of the rotor A and C. And that is mentioned in the question. So when we take this then we will get 30 LA is equal to 50 LC. And therefore LA is equal to 1.66 LC. So this is we will give here as a equation number 1 because this is the relation in between LA and LC. Now we will find out the distance of the node points N1 and N2 from rotor B. So if we observe the first section then the distance of this node point N1 from A is LA and this total distance in between A and B is L1. So the distance of node point N1 from B is L1 minus LA. So we will write here. Now in the second section distance of N2 from C is LC and the total distance between B and C is L2 dash. So distance of this node point N2 from rotor B is L2 dash minus LC. 
Now we will find one relation that is the mass moment of inertia in between this uh, rotor A and B and also the distance of these nodes from the rotor A and B. So we have the relation 1 divided by IA LA. So IA is mass moment of inertia for this rotor A. LA is the distance of node point N1 from the rotor A that is LA which is equal to now for this B 1 divided by IB in the bracket 1 divided by L1 minus LA plus 1 divided by L2 dash minus LC. So here this is the relation. Now we will put the values. Now we have to replace this LA in terms of LC. So here this LA and this term is also LA. So we have the relation that is the equation number 1. LA is equal to 1.66 LC. So we will put here 1.66 LC. Now the value of IA and IB is known. LA is we have to replace and now L1 is known. L1 is 2 meter and L2 dash is 6.4 that we have to put. Now when we put all the values then here is the equation. So we will simplify this. We will take this 90 which is outside the bracket to the left hand side in the numerator. So when we solve this we will get 1.79 divided by LC is equal to. Now how to solve this bracket? So we will take this term to the numerator that is 6.4 minus LC plus we will take this denominator term to this numerator in the second bracket 2 minus 1.66 LC and in the denominator we will multiply with these two terms. Now we will simplify this. So if we remove the bracket then here is the plus sign then here LC LC term is there. So again we will simplify this term and for the bracket we have to multiply each term with the second bracket. So here is the next step. Now when we get this step then again there is cross multiplication. Now when cross multiplication is there then we have 2.99 LC square minus 22.82 LC plus 23.06 is equal to 8.4 LC minus 2.6 LC square. Now this right hand term we will transfer to the left hand term. Then right hand term will become 0. So here this LC square and LC square. So 2.99 plus 2.6. So here is 5.66 LC square and this term is LC. So coefficient of 8.4 is having plus sign. So it will become minus when we transfer to the left hand side. So minus 22.82 minus 8.4 that is minus 31.22 LC. And here is the constant term plus 23.06 is equal to 0. So this is the second order equation. Now for the second order equation how to find out the solution. So we know that coefficient of LC square we will refer here as a A. So A is equal to 5.66. Coefficient of LC we will refer as a B. B is equal to minus 31.22 and C is the constant term is equal to 23.06. Now we have solution in terms of minus b plus minus under the top b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. So we will put here the values of a, b and c and we will get two solutions because here for the first time we will take here plus sign and for the second time we will take here the minus sign. So for this plus and minus we will get two solutions and these two values are LC1 is equal to 4.63 and LC2 is equal to 0 0.8786. Now for these two values we will also find out the value of LA from the equation number 1. So for LA1 we will get 1.66 LC1 and which is equal to 7.72 and for LA2 we will get 1.66 LC2 and we will get LA2 is equal to 1.46. Now we will plot the node points. So first we will take LC1 and LA1. So LA1 is the distance of node point from rotor A. So it is 7.72. So if we observe the distance between A and B is 2 meter. 
so this node point n1 will cross the rotor b and this total distance is 8.4 meter and if we compare the total distance 8.4 and 7.72 so this node point n1 is just before this rotor c so we will consider here is the node point n1 now the distance of this node point n1 is from a so we will consider here some particular amplitude for a and it is in the upward side so there are two directions for the amplitude that is upward side and downward side but here we will consider the amplitude of a is upward side so i will draw here one vertical length and i and i will join this length with n1 so we will join the point n1 with the amplitude now we will consider this amplitude for the rotor a is a1 so we will mention here as a a1 now here is the rotor b now we will join this line that is the slope with this rotor b so here is the amplitude for b is b here i will show this amplitude is a2 now after a2 that is this is the end point of amplitude we will show this line as a dotted line now we will show this distance of this node n1 from a that is la1 so i will show here la1 is equal to 7.72 meter now we will move to lc1 so here is also this node point and the distance from the rotor c is 4.63 now if we observe the this total distance between b and c is 6.40 so it is this node point n2 is in between b and c so we will point here one mark here one point and that will be node n2 so this node n2 is at distance 4.63 so from c it is 4.63 so we have to show here lc1 is equal to 4.63 now we know that this amplitude of b is a2 and it is also in the upward direction because here is the node n1 when we draw here the slope then he, it crosses the rotor b and that's why ampli its amplitude is also in the upward direction now we will pass this end point of amplitude a2 and this n2 so i will show here as a n2 and when we draw one line and then here is the rotor c so when we connect this point c and this slope then this is the amplitude of the rotor c that is a3 so we will show here this a3 and which is in the downward direction so from this diagram we come to know that this rotor a and b rotate in the same direction because both the amplitudes are in the upward direction and the rotor c rotate in the opposite direction because its amplitude a3 is in the downward direction so we have to show here so i will show here the direction of rotation so these two rotors rotate in same direction and rotor c will rotate in opposite direction now we will move to the next set of the points that is la2 and lc2 so la2 that is the distance of the node from this rotor a so la2 is 1.46 that is approximately equal to 1.5 and the total distance between a and b is 2 meter so it is just before this rotor b so we will give here as a node n1 now for this node n1 the distance from a is 1.46 so i will say la2 is equal to 1.46 now we will assume here the amplitude of a is in the upward direction and we will show the amplitude as a b1 so i will draw here one line and we will give here this amplitude 
as a b1 so its amplitude is equal to b1 now the end point of the amplitude a and n1 we have to join and if we extend this then the we have to connect this point with this b so if we observe the amplitude of b is in the downward direction so i will show here this is the rotor b and this amplitude we will show as a b2 now we will point the we will mark the point for n2 so distance of the second node from the rotor c that is lc2 is 0.87 so this total distance is 6.40 so 0.87 is small distance very small distance so we will mark here point and this point as a n2 now for this point again here we get the end point of the amplitude for b sorry ha huh, for rotor b as a b2 so this end point and n2 we have to join and we will also show here this distance as a lc2 so lc2 is equal to 0.87 that is for node n2 so we will get this point so if i join this n2 and the end point of the amplitude b2 then here is the slope now we have to extend this slope so when we extend this slope we will get here the amplitude so this is the amplitude of c and this amplitude of c we will write here as a b3 so in this way we will get here the direction of rotation a and c rotate in the same direction because the amplitude b1 and b3 are in the upward side and the uh, rotor b will rotate in the opposite direction because its amplitude b2 is in the downward side this node position diagram is for the equivalent system and it is known as one node arrangement diagram and the equivalent diameter is 0.045 that we have assumed earlier for the equivalent system in the same way this diagram is for the two node arrangement and also it is applicable for the equivalent system and equivalent diameter is 0.045 meter now as per the question we have to find out the position of node in the actual system so this is the actual system where the rotors a b and c and the diameter d1 and d2 are given in the same way we have to find out this position of nodes from this rotor c for two node arrangement as well as one node arrangement so how to find out that so we have formula so we will first find out the position of the node from this rotor c for this one node arrangement diagram so we will consider the position of the node in actual system at a distance x from the rotor c and here is the one node arrangement diagram so in one node arrangement diagram the position of node from rotor c we have calculated as 4.63 and that is lc1 so we will take the formula lc1 is equal to x into d equivalent by d2 raised to 4 now why d2 because if we observe in between rotor b and c diameter d2 is 0.04 and we have to take that so when we put the value lc1 is 4.63 d equivalent 0.045 d2 0.04 so value of x 2.89 meter now in the same way for the two node arrangement diagram we have to find out the position of node from rotor c so this is the actual system so for actual system we will consider here the distance is x and we have to find out the value of x so again we will take because here we have to find out the position of node from rotor c so here also we have to take the value of node from rotor c that is lc2 so lc2 is equal to x into d equivalent by d2 raised to 4 
So when we put the value x is equal to 0.55 meter.